Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I'm basically doing a head unit install on this Honda Jazz. As you guys might remember from another video previously, I had the car in for ambient lights and star lights, which was actually pretty good fun. And it was a pretty nice car to work with. But today with the head unit and stuff, the owner of the car didn't realize I actually did all of that. So yeah, looking at doing it today for his car. He's actually bought all the stuff that I need um, and a couple of extra things as well. So he's got a reversing camera to go in, um, some tire pressure sensors. He's got the doubled in head unit and also the fascia and all the wiring that's required for this. He tried tackling it himself and just basically got stuck. So he reached back out to me and I said, yeah. So I thought before starting with stripping the car down and everything, we'll have a quick look at all the parts included in this install. So. I'm gonna put my um, GoPro on my head and show you all. So everyone, this is basically the kit at the moment. We've got like, for example, the reverse camera just over here, tire pressure monitor, which is the four little modules just there for each tire. All the wiring over here as well with some booklets for assistance with insulation. The main LCD screen, which is gonna be a doubled in fitment. Basically the main brain for the actual head unit and the other key part is this fascia. Without this, it'll basically just look a bit weird. Um, the current head unit on the car does um, have an integrated fascia with the head unit and stuff, so this is required here. That's always important depending on the car that you're installing on, but that's everything here. So the owner of the car has already tried tackling it themselves, and they have removed the one screw that holds in the bottom of the fascia, so I think this just pops off. So I'm just gonna get a trim removal piece now because yeah, he's taken off the screws that hold it, that held this all in. Right, so let's start tackling all of this now. Well, first up. Oh, so he has taken up some stuff. So he's taken the wiring out for all of this as well. I'm guessing that was a screw that holds this all into place. At the top, just in the corners, one here, and one in the back over here, there should be, I believe it's 10 mil bolts. Um, I'll try and get a photo of them and insert it in, but they're gonna be pretty challenging to get to. You got, are gonna need some extensions. So my good old friend, the electrical ratchet, this thing is beautiful. So I'm just gonna um, use this at the moment. And like I said, I think it's a 10 mil that I need to get access to. So got the long extension part just here. And like I said, it's going to be one just in the corner here and one just in the corner over there. So I'm just gonna try and show you all what I'm talking about. You see that bolt just in the back over there? That's what we gotta try and access. That's just here. And then there's another one just over and around in this corner area here. It's pretty hard to film it. So yeah, I'm gonna do it off camera. Right, so time to get everything off here now it's pretty challenging i'm not gonna lie the one of the bolts is kind of stuck in there it's the best way to put it all right let's try and pop this guy off now because all right see so he's definitely tried getting into here before because the plastic's pretty pretty beaten up there's the other bolt i didn't want to come out There we go. The whole thing is off now. Good thing is, I guess he's taken off one of the screws already for me, making my life a little bit easier to fit in this onto the new fascia. So, as I mentioned, he's already taken off a few things and basically you, you won't screw this from the old fascia Put it onto the new one and there's basically four screws that hold this all into place one just here still very fiddly right now time to get off now time to screw all these in nice and tight and we'll be done boom that's that part done now here's the other interesting thing is with the LCD screen 
if I'm not mistaken, this goes in on the front here, but it then gets screwed in on the back as well. Where do those four screws go? These guys just here. There we go. That's basically the finished product. Obviously we've got all the wiring to still go on. But that in essence will sit very comfortably. So another thing I've noticed we need of the old um, radio setup, I guess, is, whoop, don't drop them. Ugh. But need to take off these two mountain brackets because they will be needed on the new head unit. And nothing else should be needed from the old setup now. Even though we've got this metal mesh, we won't actually be needing it, I don't think, because we're gonna be using these. So everyone, just now what I'm looking at is I've removed off the metal casing and these screws basically will go here and here from what I can tell. This should be the right locations for us. The only ones that really match up and I'm pretty confident in them, so. There we go. Those two brackets are on there now. This is ready, in essence, to be connected up with the rest of the car. Um, I'm gonna deal with the wiring next. Reason being is because I wanna test this out with the rear camera and all the other modules in place working before I have to route the rear camera into the right area, which is gonna be up and through into here. And so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of wiring madness going on there. So everyone, next step at the moment is actually for me to clear up a little bit and basically get these two to marry into each other so i'm just going to I'm just going to move a few things around get this foam padding over here so i can rest the screen against it so it's kind of like a computer where you gotta keep these two thing prongs a little bit wide as i said here please remove screen um Please unplug from both sides, unwise and screen, blah, blah, blah. So this guy is gonna go towards the top, like this. Got a little bit of an indentation just there, which goes towards the top. So I should be able to just connect it up. Push both clips in. Feels like it's connected in. And once you do that, just pop it in. There we go. It's a head unit basically connected up. Yeah, I'm gonna connect these up just for test purposes. So they're not gonna actually be in the right areas just yet. I'm just going to test it out, make sure everything works correctly before we carry on with the rest. Oh, where is it? So everyone, I've got the head unit all plugged in. The wiring for everything is kind of going around and down through the holes. Um, basically, so you can kind of see just underneath here. If you go, let me put this light here. So as you can see through this gap, just over in through there, that is where I've put all the um, extra ports and stuff like that. So the extra USBs, the, um, the GPS antenna, and also like the Wi-Fi um, little antenna thing. So they're gonna be connected up and put underneath and the GPS one I'm gonna bring up round towards the window. And yeah, I'm just gonna plug everything back in now, hopefully. I thought I'd also make a point. You gotta take these little metal connectors off the original fascia and put it onto this one because they don't come on. Um, this one doesn't come with it. And once you fit it all in, it basically just slides back out. So make sure you just pull these off. You probably use pliers or something. Um, you just pull them off and connect it back onto here. So everyone, the car is all finished and completed right now, which is always a good, good, comfortable moment. Um, couple of issues that we basically ran into. One, the rear 
camera or the reversing camera no matter what i did with it it just wasn't turning on now the owner of the car because he bought everything he's going to get in touch with um where he got it from the suppliers so that they can actually advise him a bit better i've sent him across a video basically showing how i've tested it all yeah so basically all that's been tested out and it's still not worked but be that as it may there's a few other things that i wanted to show you all with this head unit just to kind of help if you are installing it yourself as well so with regards to the head unit the settings is quite important so um what was it under general you can have the brake wire for video in um you know if you want to turn that off or on that's down to yourself so here in general under steering wheel settings you can set things up for different controls so for example um picking up a call you can set it up so if i put the camera here so if i put that one and hold this down it says please select learning function but that basically means it's learning it right that's that one done and then answering a call could be this okay um i've already selected like the pause and play and stuff as the mode button volume up and down i've done that here as well so you can do kind of like different things over here um it's all basically controllable which is kind of nice once you've done it all you can see now if i press it here it's all controlled here nicely um sound quality is actually pretty good royalty free music no background um no copyright so yeah i would say that's quite good so you can set up the navigation as well which is actually really nice is to control um and you can log into everything it's basically a big tablet but that's stuck onto the screen um everything else on it works really nice and smooth you can see it's it's actually quite responsive if you played around with it more you could probably set it up and customize it to a different point um, and then you can just delete everything off from there that are open you're back to basically a better experience oh you got full controls here of your amp but i don't think you'll really need to worry about that too much but yeah that is the head unit just having a quick look at it all a couple of things that i wanted to point out the two screws that go on in the back they weren't lining up anymore so i've not screwed them in but it is on there super tight you really won't miss them especially once you use those metal clips um that screw underneath here and getting this all disconnected well once you take that screw off and that bottom cover off you can just disconnect the wires from behind here and that's how you get access to the rest when it comes to taking it off but it was pretty simple pretty easy to get to this point right now i didn't connect the external mic that comes with this because i tested it out i made a phone call and it was coming out perfectly clear so that's not really something that's necessary and all the gps modules and stuff they're all underneath here in fact if you open up the fuse box here which just in through there is where you can tuck it all away towards the bottom so that's what i've done and yeah so that's this car all completely finished for now if there's an update with regards to the um reversing camera i'll update you all accordingly on that but yeah car's all done i hope you all did enjoy the video if you did find it helpful or entertaining in any way please give the video a like consider subscribing to the channel and i look forward to seeing you all in another video so hopefully youtube are recommending a couple more to you now anyway everyone see you later bye